Hey, 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 this your boy E Hood. This your boy E Hood. How's everybody doing? Powers of Full Impact Ministries. Let me speak to you for about five minutes. I just want to give you five minutes of wisdom. This is going to be on marriage. Five minutes of wisdom on marriage. So I'm going to hit it and I'm gone. In my experience of marriage, I was married 15 years. And, and from what I've experienced and what I've seen in other marriages, both good and bad, you know, in marriage, it has to be unison. It has to be unity. Because in marriage, you are looked at as one person, one soul, one spirit. And when you are divided, success cannot come into the marriage. You have to be unified in your marriage in order for it to be successful. So now, you can be in a marriage and be single at the same time. So which means you can be living a marriage that's supposed to be in unity and you're living it in division. This is why we have marriages where the husband got his own account, the wife got her own uh, uh, account, the wife don't know what he got going on, the husband don't know what she got going on, and as a result, the finances are not together, which means now you're functioning in a spirit of division and not unity, and now the spirit realm, or the spirit realm cannot function in that marriage as far as bringing success to it because the spirit realm is going to give you whatever you put into it. So, so if the marriage is putting in division in the um, marriage, then the marriage is going to reap what division brings. So division brings about lack. The, the uh, division brings about poverty and confusion and corruption and dishonor. But now when you come into the marriage and you bring about unison, unity, there's nothing that you cannot do in a marriage when you are together, husband and wife, in the spirit of order and unity. You know, the scripture speaks about over there in Genesis 11 when they was uh, about to build a tower all the way up to heaven. And God said, I have to go down here and confuse these folks. He said, because they so unified, whatever they imagine themselves to do, they will be able to do it. So, so see, unity is powerful, whether it's good or bad. So see, this is why marriage has to be unified in order for it to prosper. Not just financially, but health, every area. Unity has to be in the marriage. This is why you have marriages, most marriages are struggling in every area because it's so much division in the marriage. Be, 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 because division brings about dishonor. Dishonor brings about lack, poverty, and everything else. So see, when you're in a marriage and you are unified, unity brings about prosperity. Unity brings about honor. Unity brings about favor. Watch this here. Whether it be good, boy, or whether it be evil. But unity in a marriage is powerful. Marriage is the most powerful, re, re, marriage is the most powerful relationship on the planet because it is supposed to exemplify God's relationship with the world, Jesus' relationship with the body of Christ. So marriage is the most powerful relationship on the planet. And when it's done in the spirit of division, poverty is the portion, lack is the portion. So you have to come into your marriage. You have to be unified. If you're not unified, watch this here. You can say what you want to say, but you can check out your own marriage. Because I checked out mine. And we struggled. If you're not unified in your marriage, you will struggle. You have to come together, husband and wife, and you have to be as one. You have to want for each other more than you want for yourself. You have to be the first thing you think about when you wake up and the last thing you think about when you go to bed. Your spouse has to be the main thing on your mind. Husband, love your wife. Love her crazy. Woman, honor your husband. Honor him like crazy. It's your boy E. Hood. Five minutes of wisdom. Marriage. And I'm out. Peace.